Hello again and welcome to another edition of Southern Country. Hi, I'm Herb Southern. Welcome to the show. We're at the Bonnie Bray Polo Classic today. And Nancy is the organizer, the event coordinator. How are you doing? Just fine. We're having a great day. Weather is perfect. What could be bad? It's a great cause we're, we're here for. It sure is. Bonnie Bray is a wonderful, wonderful organization. They do incredible things for the boys uh, from all over the state, and we're very, very proud uh, to be here helping them all today. Well, we're proud to be here with them and help, help out to, for a great cause. Thanks so much. We've, uh, we've got a great turnout. We thank everybody for turning out, and uh, we're, just, we're just really thrilled. The weather's perfect. Enjoy this beautiful day. Uh, the judges for the tailgate competition will be wandering around shortly. <laughs> Okay, 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 you'll go. Well, my friends, as we continue to walk around the Bonnie Bray Polo Classic, Lauren's here. Tell us about your little little horse. Yeah, sweetie. It's, she's an eight-year-old miniature horse. Uh, as big okay. as they get? Yep, she's 34 inches tall at the Withers. Uh, she thinks she's a big horse, though. <laughs> she <laughs> challenges like, the big horses? Like the little horse, the little dog syndrome. She has a little horse syndrome. <laughs> okay. I never she's thought of that. She's a tough girl. <laughs> uh, there's a popular brand, uh, breed of horses in the area? They're getting to be a lot more popular. And a lot of, uh, like myself, I had a, a bad riding injury about eight years ago and can't ride anymore. So we got into the little ones. And uh, a lot of other people are doing the same same thing. And now you're, you're able to um, show them in combined driving with the big horses. Wow, no kidding. So they're really, uh, they've come a long way. You've had this baby since the baby? A year old, both year old. of them. They're both eight. Okay. She came from Pennsylvania, and he came from Pittstown here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you don't breed them? You just buy them? Uh, yes. Oh. Well, she's a broodmare. Oh, oh yeah. she's a broodmare. Okay. Mm -hmm. And who's daddy? Uh, not, not him. Not, not here. Not Teo, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're, you're taking off with us, yes. huh? Okay. We'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. As we walk around this beautiful afternoon at the Bonnie Bray Polo Classic, Doreen's here. Doreen, tell me about your setup here. Well, this year we did a Wild West theme. We took it off of Blazing Saddles, a classic Mel Brooks movie, and we just worked it in with the motorcycles because at least a motorcycle's got a saddle. So we just went from there, put up a jail, got a noose, got Roy Rogers and Dale Evans and Matt Dillon and a couple of wanted signs and a calf to rope later on and uh, come back, try your luck. Have some ribs. How many? How many? How many hours did it take you to set this up? To set it up here, once we got here, it took us only about two hours. But to construct it, it took a lot longer. <laughs> I was just going to say the construction must be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. It took and a few months of planning. And the concept behind it is unbelievable too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for being on the show, Doreen. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bruce, you have how many horses here? I uh, brought six to the field today. And you're a rider? I'm a rider for a long time. Uh, okay, I won't ask you how long. <laughs> <laughs> how long does it take to train a uh, horse? To well, a, a good trainer uh, can make a horse in probably about a season or two. And you're a good trainer? Well, I'm not a trainer. Oh, I'm a player. Okay. You know, so uh, you know, I buy the I buy the horses from the trainers. Okay, already you know? trained. How old does the horse have to be to run? Uh, well, uh, I think the optimum age is at least for a polo pony three or four. Okay. And they hit their prime between four and seven. And what do you have? You you have something to do with this event too, don't you? 
Well, yeah, my wife, Ronnie, and I uh, have been uh, uh, major supporters of the Bonnie Bray Charity for five seasons now. So a Great charity. It, it is a wonderful charity. The organization does a great job for those kids. So Unbelievable. We're all here for the same reason. Yes, we are. And uh, the weather cooperated. Oh, and, uh, man. And uh, the crowd is just anxious. And we have, uh, I think we have two good teams that are going to play today and really give the fans something to look at. Well, we're going to sit back and watch you guys run. Okay. Well, okay. it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bruce. Okay. Bye-bye. Right, Bye-bye. Chris is here. Tell us about your theme and your tent area. Well, you know, we picked the Jersey Shore theme because uh, our name is Region Atlantic Capital, so we figured uh, the Atlantic side uh, made it easy for us. I didn't think of Atlantic. Okay. Yes. That's pretty That's clever. Whose idea was it? Yours? Uh, it was my ideas, but then uh, I just had the idea. All of our other folks pulled it off and did a great job. They did a great job. Who came up with all the props? Uh, my wife did a lot of it. She's, uh, she really loves to throw parties and uh, just put all kinds of decorations and funny stuff together. Everybody's Jersey Shore people? Oh, yeah. Yeah? We love the Jersey Shore. Do you? Yeah. Okay, so do I. You have a really good, cool theme here. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, Chris, thank you for being on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, my friends, we're wrapping up this edition of Southern Country, the Bonnie Bray Polo Classic on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. And Paul's with me. He calls the uh, polo match. I do, yes. I've uh, been the announcer for them since the inception of the Bonnie Bray Classics. So um, Jim calls me every year and asks me to come over. I'm flattered, and I love doing it. What's, what's your talent as far as calling the matches? Well, I, qualifies you. I played the game for almost 20 years, so I've got a good insight as to what's going on in the field. Uh, there's a lot of rules and regulations. It's not just eight people chasing the ball around. You've really got to know what you're, what you're looking at in order to uh, keep, the, keep the spectators up to speed on it. Right. Well, that's interesting. Do you think the spectators actually know what you're... I certainly hope so. Um, there's two types of spectators. There's the ones that come to watch polo, and there's the ones that come to Party? enjoy the day. <laughs> yes, to see and be seen. Right, but uh, irrespective, it's, it's a fantastic way to spend an afternoon. You couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. And uh, you've got great foods, drinks, nice people. So uh, please, if you've ever missed this, by all means, come out next year. It's definitely a great cause for everybody. It is. Yes, it is. Uh, all of these people putting their time and effort, and there's a great deal of effort and time that goes into making this match work. And as you said, it's a, it's a wonderful cause. It really is. Paul, thank you very much for oh. being on the show. Appreciate it. It was mine. Okay. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you.